This video demonstrates the ligation of the anterior division of the internal iliac artery via the open technique. The uterus is kept under traction by the assistant. The round ligament is cut and its distal end is held using a polygalactin suture. The round ligament is then placed under traction. The peritoneum is then cut to expose the two leaves of the broad ligament. The incision is extended in a cephalic direction so has to make adequate room for dissection. At all times the uterus must be placed under traction by the assistant. The areolar tissue in the retroperitoneal space is gently dissected off using blunt dissection. The assistant must be guided to retract the bowel. Once the areolar tissue in the retroperitoneal space is dissected, three tubular structures are identified. The medial most structure being the ureter which is pointed by the right angle artery forceps. The ureter can be identified by its peristaltic activity. The lateral most structure which runs over the psoas muscle is the external iliac artery. In between these two structures lies the internal iliac artery. Using the right angle artery forceps, space is made medially and laterally over the anterior division of the internal iliac artery and the right angle is then passed from the lateral side to the medial side. Suture material is then passed underneath the anterior division of the internal iliac artery. One can either use a polyglactin suture or a silk suture. One can either put a single ligature or can put two ligatures. Ligating the anterior division of the internal iliac artery reduces the pulse pressure and the blood flow to the uterus and is a useful procedure in cases where profound pelvic hemorrhage is expected.